Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the third week of May read start from the 15th through the 21st of May 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of um, Leo. So let's see Leo what is coming up for you for this week time. I will be adding messages from your person, aunt, oracle cards and this read. So stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that uh, resonate and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my mobile ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well. So we do have um, two cards coming up here, which is Page of Souls and King of Cups. Um, it seems like, you know, with the, there is somebody in your life right now who's keeping an eye on you. Um, definitely this person has a lot of love for you, but at the same time, um, this person is also kind of very possessive uh of you as well i feel like you know this person could be somebody that you are already currently dealing with this person can be somebody who has love for you but just uh they have not revealed to you yet uh and they are just observing you from a distance right now so it can be that as well for some of you but yes there is somebody who is definitely having some feelings for you and uh, pretty much love uh, pretty much, uh, yes, they want uh, this connection with you, but at the same time, maybe they are just not opening up about it yet and they are observing you from a distance right now. It can be a person in your love life uh, that you're already having. It can be a person, uh, somebody who has a crush on you. It can be a person who's uh, looking at you like, um, as if, like, you know, um, um, that they want to pursue right now but they cannot like you know for some reasons it can be a colleague as well it can be somebody like that as well uh it can be a friend as well for some of you uh but yes this person is really very possessive of you as well so you might have this person coming towards you if you are completely single you might be come friends with someone who is exactly like i just mentioned uh your person might start like you know becoming possessive of you as well so that could be coming in for this week as well but yeah let's see what else is happening wow there is a lot of fun times coming up for you it can be you spending a lot of fun her time with your friends and family and maybe there is this person in your in your close uh family group or friends group where, where you know somebody has a crush on you somebody has a lot of deep feelings for you uh this person could be somebody who has always been with you since forever it can be a best friend it can be a friend um or maybe it's your own crush as well like you know uh and uh, surprisingly they also have the same feelings for you but maybe they have never revealed it because uh, you have known each other for quite some time but yes they are very protective of you and possessive of you as well i feel like you know you will be spending a lot of good time with this person um this person seems to be like you know um your soulmate um you know you feel at home being with this person you feel like you know this person makes you feel so happy and fulfilled so i really do see that this person is somebody really 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 important uh that way to you as well let's see more cards here wow this person adds a lot of sunshine to you and your life and they have feelings for you whether they express it or not this person really does uh love you a lot let's see more cards here wow three of cups The Empress. Beautiful energies, King of Swords. On either deck, we do have Four of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, maybe right now you yourself are not in that mental zone where, uh, or emotional state of being where you are up for any relationship. Um, you know, uh, maybe, you know, you would love to be in a relationship, but at the same time, you don't want to be the one who is going to open up about their feelings first. So I feel like, you know, you would, you would like to play this, uh, uh, you know, game in love where you are unsure of, you know, what the, what the two of you feel for each other and stuff like that. You would rather choose to go slow about it 
rather than being expressive in this and that because you will love what you're having what you're sharing with this person when you don't have um when you haven't had like an expressed love you are enjoy going to enjoy this phase of your life maybe for some of you it's a new connection as well um that you recently started to have and if you're single this person would just come in your life and you are going to play that love it every games where you're not like, expressing your true feelings to each other and then you are like you know just getting possessive of each other and this and that so i feel like you know th there is this um beautiful fun loving energy coming in your life uh, I don't see the sexual energy here. It's more of the like you know possessiveness, the the you know the the teenage romance is what I'm picking up here. Like you know where you where you feel where you have feelings but you don't like to express, and then you're possessive of each other without having the physical thing for majority of you. There could be physical connection too between the two of you. In that situation too, the love must have been like you know uh, denied uh, always in this connection. Um, you know, uh, but. I feel like you know this this connection is getting beautiful uh maybe it was sexual before but now it's getting beautiful the love is like you know you both could feel the love in this connection but at the same time it's it's very much in a in a secretive way it's very much in a hidden way concealed way you are protective of each other you are possessive of each other and then you you don't want to reveal it yet so i feel like you know it's more of that time that is coming through for the two of you in this connection and if you are completely single you might have some person like this coming in your life who's going to be exactly like that um and right now you both are like no we don't have love no we don't uh you know go for that uh you know it's, it's better not to fall in love and this and that but in actuality you do have those um you know uh, strengths getting attached here so i feel like you know there there is a lot of fear coming from both hands so maybe it's a reconciliation taking place for some of you as well. Maybe you're getting back to, you know, to the person that you once loved or you both shared some connection. But then now you're very slow about this connection. You don't want to rush into things. You both are very possessive and protective of each other is what I'm picking up. But this connection is stronger than ever. Like, you know, in the past things were different. But I feel like, you know, this time around things are going to be more beautiful. Like, you know, things are going to be more uh, lovey-dovey as compared to as, uh, you know, it has ever been in the past. So um, let's see some, um, let's see some messages from your person first. What is it that they want to say to you? Two of Souls, they really don't know what is going on between the two of them. Uh, between the two of you and uh, they really don't know what's going on there. Um, they feel that they have love, then they feel like, no, it's not. Yeah, they do have mental blocks about love and um, they used to be like this and they are still like this. But um, they do have lots of love, as as uh, as the first card suggested. So they really don't know what is it for them. But uh, yes, they do have love. Um, plus, they don't know if it if it is the right thing for them to do right now or not. Where they be expressive, openly and honestly, and like you know, tell you that you know we are made for each other or something like this. I feel like you both are. Like I told you earlier with the very first card here, you both are soulmates. You are eventually gonna be together that way but maybe your person took a long time uh to uh to be you know here where they are now where they are being lovey-dovey towards you um there could be for some of you there could be distance between the two of you as well um and if not then the divine is definitely helping the two of you to get rid of the distance between the two of you emotionally mentally physically sexually as well but i feel like you know there's a lot of love in this connection now um like never before uh so yeah let's see the oracle cards here let's see what else do you need to know here communication is the key for some of you could be dealing with the gemini uh there will be a lot of communication taking place here in this week time then we have expect a powerful change some major change will be coming in for for you guys for this uh, week time when it comes to this connection then we have a time for healing i feel like you know for some of you you might have been taking some time out of this connection from you know uh, so you could heal so you could your person could heal too and i feel like you know now you both have healed maybe and now you want to come back together um and now uh, you're just taking things slow but i feel like yes this connection seems to be like you know it's gonna go next level uh this time around because things have changed things have been diff different things might have been difficult but now they are different now a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light 
I love you. So there is love coming in your way. Like, you know, this person is expressive now. They feel like, you know, you fill their heart up always with lots of love. Um, let's see, the next card is friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, this person is somebody that you've known for quite some time. It's just that you're spending time together. And this time around, you're nurturing the bond of friendship too within this connection. It's not just going to be physical, sexual or anything. I do see this connection getting beautiful. So this, this uh, you know, the beautiful thing is... Um, about this connection is like you know there's a lot of love now that never was transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so this is exactly what is taking place here in this connection your love life for this person is going to get beautiful and your connection is going to be transformed into something meaningful something beautiful like never before during this week time so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it was of help do like share, and subscribe and uh yeah till i do the next reading for you guys um take care and uh bye <clears throat>